When the legend was first told, no one can say. This heard in all those distant places where sea winds touched shore. The Arctic ice to soothe the sea. We held three ships, great and white as Bova's lips, graceful as a Balinese dancer's hand. They sailed this fleet in search of an unusual company of heroes, uncommon passengers, to share an elegant odyssey of mystery and delight. Some say the ships are a dream, created by our ideal of what a voyage should be. But dream or real, the legend lingers, and the great white ships still sail. Legendary voyages to the most fabled ports throughout the world. And we wait, you and I, by the shore, our lives like orderly constructions of tile-top towns nesting by the sea, waiting for an experience to fill a brief season of our lives with pleasure and discovery, adventure, and surprise. We are as houses waiting by the sea for a white ship to come sailing by. white ships, named for nature's three most sublime mysteries, the star, the sky, the sea. Created in the great yards of Finland, these grand ships were appointed with unparalleled grace and taste and intelligence. Aboard came original tapestry and paintings, sculpture and furnishings from the hands and minds of the most gifted artists of the North. Aboard came the finest wines from throughout the world. The public and private environments became works of art in themselves, harmonies of space, light, and shadow. But the greatest treasure brought aboard was one of a different kind, the ship's company. Crew and staff, concierge, waiters, penthouse butlers, and Scandinavian stewardesses all gathered from the great capitals of Europe, each trained in the European traditions of service, each gifted in the fine art of attention to detail, attention to you. And so we wonder, can this be real? Or is it merely an image in our minds of what all cruise ships should be, if they could be? Now, where would we go, you and I, Perhaps we would touch the passionate coastal towns of Mexico. It is said the greatest of their ancient gods, Quetzalcoatl, arrived by sea. His ship was white. Some say voyagers came here from China before the Spanish, as did the great sailing canoes of Polynesian kings. Now you touch these same shores. Welcome as a god or king. They say the Royal Viking Line ships will sail in a year farther than Magellan sailed in a lifetime. Many different voyages to virtually every navigable region on Earth, touching hundreds of cultures. No ships ever built have wandered farther or have visited more exotic ports. You'll be reminded of this as you move through the Panama Canal, seeing the two Americas sliding by. You are able to do what Magellan could never have done, sail between two continents from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea. Here you follow the ghostly wake of pirates, Calico Jack, Blackbeard, and Captain Kidd. Their ships made way upon these waters for 30 years, holding the world at bay. 
Here, there are magnificent islands to explore, calypso rhythms, hidden beaches, and sunlight warm as a hand. It's morning. You feel time sliding away. There is no past, no future. There's only a golden now. The day is a basket of delight to be filled as one might choose. At sea, the rhythm of nature and the beat of your own heart are as one. But you alone control the cadence. It can be exhilarating and accelerated, or easy and relaxed as a buffet served on deck with casual elegance. Savor delights for the palate in sea air clean and clear as polished crystal. Luxuriate in the famous royal Viking cuisine, artful delicacies, a visual feast, a culinary triumph. Above all, relax and dream. The sun is warm, the sea eternal. Make time go slow and feel the ship move on. Perhaps you will follow the route of the clipper ships returning from China with tea to the eastern seaboard where America's whaling captains dwelled. Rediscover New England. Then northward to the St. Lawrence and the historically rich cities of Quebec and Montreal. Or perhaps you'll rediscover America's other shoulder, the inside passage to Alaska, where Captain Cook once sailed. Can you hear the whisper of faraway seas, the echo of old adventures made new? Perhaps you and I will see a horizon unexplored if the white ships come sailing by. I like being spoiled. I don't know about you, but I really do. Welcome, everyone. Um, it takes about 15 minutes to get your sea legs and about the same time to lose them again in the uh, Finlandia bar. <laughs> A Royal Viking Line cruise is many experiences. Interesting friends, beautiful surroundings, and the time to enjoy them. And it can be a time for reacquaintance with oneself. People left their homes time for cultural pursuits, Canada, new ideas in business, Canada, science, and the arts. There's time to plan an excursion ashore. So we'd stay overnight, you mean? Uh... Absolutely. We'd rejoin you to the ship at the next port. It's, it's ideal. Test yourself with some new challenge. Listen to some of the world's great music. Everybody? Or share experiences with new friends. I wonder if you could help me um, organize a wonderful little party for about six or eight in my cabin tomorrow. And I wondered if you could do your usual wonderful hors d'oeuvre and, and about three bottles of champagne. Yes, months, wonderful. Like setting up with uh, caviar and a little smoked salmon. Yes, perfect. Maybe a little shrimps on the side with American dressing. Oh, wonderful. Yes, yes great. Be and then the battler will take care for it as usual. He knows all the details. Yes. I knew I could rely on you. Okay, Hi. wonderful. You. <laughs> Lives touch for a while each enriched by the encounter, and the ship moves on. Perhaps today we'll find you following in the wake of Ulysses through the wine-dark sea of the Aegean. You can explore the islands he knew and hear the siren's song. You could sail across the Mediterranean eastward to the Turkish coast and north to the towering minarets of Istanbul, to the Black Sea and the little-known cities tucked beneath the southern skirts of Mother Russia. Perhaps you'll call at the ancient ports holy to Arab and Christian and Jew, the land of the Quran and the Bible, or sail to fabled Alexandria, beyond which the pharaohs sleep in their great stone tombs. 
or call at ports from which Columbus and da Gama sailed to discover new worlds beyond the old. Perhaps you'll pause a while in Venice, birthplace of Marco Polo, another great voyager of the past. Glide upon the very canals he traveled so many years ago. But if the days hold beauty and promise, what of the nights? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Victor Borga. I understand the captain is not very happy. We ate his dinner. <laughs> he's on down, he's on down the road. always insisted on personal vessels to carry them upon the seas. Perhaps it's to escape for a while the obligations of their positions, an opportunity to be simply themselves. Here they're free to do as they wish, in beautiful surroundings, among interesting people. Now the lid of night is softly closed and the white ship moves on. Sail northward to the Isles of Great Britain, home of Sir Francis Drake, greatest voyager of them all. Northward still to Ireland, and on to the Norwegian Sea, home waters of the Viking longships, ancestors of those three ships we now sail. Bergen, Stockholm, then on to the port of Leningrad, gateway to the enduring mysteries of Russia. And so the days pass beautifully by, as does earth and time. Each moment a mystery, each new horizon a promise to be kept. It's nearly evening. You feel a kind of gathering anticipation. A celebration is about to begin. A feast for the palate and for the soul. Royal Viking Line dining is a legendary experience, praised by voyagers everywhere. On each ship, there are 33 chefs, gathered with care from Europe's most honored hotels and restaurants. Every executive chef is a member of the prestigious Confrérie de la Chaine de Rotisseurs, the oldest gourmet society in the world. Each is an artist of the first order. Each meal, a renewed opportunity to surprise and delight. Unlike most other cruise lines, all dining here is accomplished at a single seating. The dining area is so spacious that everyone can be served at one time. So there's no hurry. Royalty cannot be rushed. And with your continental waiters, wine steward, head waiter, and maître d'hôtel, royal is exactly how you'll feel. Beautiful tonight. Yeah, everything's fine. The wine is okay. This really has been a royal treatment. No complaints. So pamper your palate. Enjoy your dinner. Take the time to relax and explore new friendships. Enjoy. Ahead lie the islands of Melville and Gauguin. Listen to the music of their names. Bora Bora. Morea. Tonga. Pango Pango, Tahiti, Fiji. This way came Captain Cook and Drake and all the great wanderers of the ages. Here are those places Jack London called the last Isles of Innocence. Here too are ports like Sydney that tell us of the future and Bali which tells us of the past. Explore the treasures of Bangkok. And far to the north, exquisite Japan. Hong Kong, bustling and complex. Here in the China Sea, you feel the sigh of the East upon your face, whispered promise of mysterious delight. This is how I see the East, Conrad wrote. 
I have seen its secret places and have looked into its very soul. Mainland China, graceful temples, art of staggering splendor, palaces and courts within forbidden cities. China, powerful human drama teeming with life. Here, spiritual delicacy lives hand in hand with bold promise. China. All this you could see and feel as the white ships sail on. And still we wonder, could such an adventure be? Could we set sail to the four corners of the earth, to the very edges of the seven seas, upon ships which seem not unlike grand hotels set to sea? where your every whim carries the weight of a royal command. There is no doubt that the ships are real. As real as our own quest for adventure, as real as our need to break free from the rhythms of our life for a while and to explore new sensations, new ideas, new pleasures. We have seen that the white ships can take us to the most exotic and distant places on Earth. And along the way, we may discover other ports more important still. For the white ships can carry us to where the human spirit dwells. To the far corners of our own hearts.